Hello everyone. Welcome to Informatica support videos. I am Sunil Kumar Sahu from Informatica MDM team. This session is about user interface extensions in MDM Informatica data director that is IDD UI extensions. We had divided this topic in two parts. Today we will be covering part 1 of this topic. So the agenda of this session will be what are UI extensions in IDD? What are the different type of UI extensions supported in IDD? And finally, we will have a demo on how to configure UI extensions in IDD. So let's have a quick look on what are IDD user interface extensions. As the name says, UI extensions will provide a direct facility to append an external web application page to IDD so that we can add custom functionalities to IDD. Let's discuss here a simple business use case where UI extensions in IDD can be helpful. Say suppose customer has a requirement to dis display some analytics based on data from IDD. Then by using UI extensions they can not only pass the data from IDD but can also attach the web page that displays the analytical results. Let's have a look on what are the different type of user interface extensions that are supported in IDD. There are majorly three kind of extensions that are supported in IDD. One is UI extensions. This can be used to add top level tabs and dashboards in IDD while external link child can be used to add child tabs to subject area. External link action can be used to add actions to subject area, subject area child or search results. Let's have a demo to see how to configure UI extensions in IDD. Before moving to IDD, I want to show here that I have a web application developed in my local workspace which can process IDD data and display some analytical results in a JSP page. We will see how through UI extensions we can append this JSP page to the IDD application. If I run this JSP, This is the page which is developed in this web based application and we can find there are certain parameters printed as null here. After appending this page to IDD we will find that these parameters will hold value and these values will be passed from IDD. Here we can see there are some charts I had displayed these are dummy charts with a dummy data. You can display these charts with real data that is passed from IDD after appending this page to IDD application. So let's go to IDD configuration manager and see what are the configurations that are required to append an web based to uh, append a web external web application page to IDD. This is IDD configuration manager. If I launch the IDD application You can see there are three tabs provided in IDD application, data, dashboard, data and task. We will add an additional tab here that we can do through UI extensions tag. Here we will export this BDD application as a zip. And save it in somewhere in our local. Now I will open that IDD application and open the bddconfig.xml. I will navigate to charts tag. 
for saving time i had already collected the configuration that needs to be added to bddconfig.xml in order to add a tab in idd application this is the tag which we need to add in bddconfig.xml that is ui extensions we can find a sub tab that is top level tab here there is an attribute called display name which is used to basically provide the value to the name of the tab we can also find a tag called external link this tag basically will hold a attribute called url which will point to our jsp page it will have a complete url of our external application we can find there are some param tags also these parameter tags are basically used to pass data from idd application to external web applications here i am passing the idd username and idd password to the external web application i am also passing a static message from idd to the external application i will copy this entire configuration to bddconfig.xml as it is i will save it and import this modified bddconfig.xml in our idd application we can see the configuration file is imported successfully in idd configuration manager now we will click on redeploy the idd application is successfully deployed now i will launch this idd application we can find here an external tab that is added to idd application which we had the name of this tab is the same which we had provided in the tag top level tab external web application if i click on this tab it will take us to the external web applications jsp page which we had developed outside the idd here we can see the same jsp page jsp page that is embedded to our idd application these are the dynamic parameters that we had passed from idd to this web page now we can find that instead of null it is holding the values that is admin 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 is the username of our idd application and password is the admin and i we can see the there is a static greeting message that we had passed in the configuration so in this way we can add a external web applications page to idd configuration manager For exploring more on IDD UI extensions please refer to resource kit for MD MDM IDD implementation guide We would love to hear your feedbacks and comments You can write to us at support@videos@informatica.com or you can reach to us in info info@twitter.com Thanks for watching this video based knowledge article from informatica support